Hello, Planner Lovelies. How are you guys today? I'm doing well. Getting by. It's the weekend. So we're getting there. And today, the video I have for you is a personal planner flip through of all of my spreads. Because I've done a lot of them without filming for you guys. So I just want to share them with you. I don't remember which ones I did film or didn't film. So... We're just going to go through all of them. We can start over here with my clips. Uh, this is from Run With Craft Scissors. This one and this one were gifts from Watercolor Blooms because I am on her PR team. This one here, I really don't remember. It came with a sticker. It came with stickers. It was like... Mm, sweet Bean Plants, I believe. I believe that's who it's from but either way we are in my recollections planner I have swapped out my tassel from paper princess plans to the yellow with the gold foil flamingos because we are coming into summer and I just felt like I was over the red so this is my gold recollections planner I have been using it since I don't know a year ago or so not quite a year maybe a year I'd have to go back through my old spreads but this is going to be the 2017 so far so I don't have a setup video on this because I really didn't really set it up I just kind of play in it so that's what we're gonna do so here is the make great things happen divider that comes with the planner I just put some of the uh, black paper behind it and then I do have the so much crafting inserts month on two page with the blank so you can put the weeks right behind it just like the Erin Condren or the Happy Planner or a plum, pl plum paper or any of those. So we're going to start off here with January. This is a monthly kit from Temp Loves Crafts. And then here is the week of New Year, I just used a bunch of Mambi stickers and there are a couple of blank slate stickers here. And then this is my birthday week, so I used my favorite color, which is purple. And it's a total mix of watercolor blooms and ANC stickers. There's some Once More With Love. Um, creating and Co, Mila Print Shop, it's just a hodgepodge, this was a leftover spread. And I tried that um, banner thing that Nikki Plus 3 does, and I really liked it. I just haven't done it again because it does take a bit of time. So then this week is my mom and dad's birthday, and I used a one-page sampler from Plan and Paper. And then there is this one here, which were leftovers from Piper Paper Co. And I see some, oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff on here. <laughs> and then I got some Dorie sticker books in here. So this was my sister's birthday week, and it always snows on her week, so I used the blues and things. This was an actual kit, and this was from... Was it Plan With Pizzazz? Yeah, Plan With Pizzazz. And I have a little Target marker right there. And then we go into February. Again, Temp Loves Crafts. Really cute. I added a bunch of like these from the dollar spot at Target. And see, there's the blank again. And then here is the first week of February. And this was using a sampler sheet I got from Aylin's Creations that I won in a giveaway. Or was this the personal kit? I think this might have been the personal kit. And this was my brother's birthday week. And then this kit is from Crest Press. It is the first time I ever bought anything from Crest Press. And it is definitely a learning curve. But very, very pretty. Love the colors and the owls. This was a kit that I bought for my happy planner that ended up morphing into my personal planner because I had too many Valentine's Day spreads. Um, 
So this was from a Plan with Pizzazz. And it was Valentine's Day. And then also me and the hubby and I have uh, been together eight years as of that day. Not married eight years, but together. <laughs> Here is a, another uh, Aliens Creations. And then the blank. And then we go into March, which is Temple of Grass. I really like her monthlies for... The so much crafting inserts because they're like one page and they are a dollar or two they're not super expensive especially if you catch a sale so yes and then here is another man Bee sticker book I tend to use man Bee stickers more in here than in my happy planner which is kind of funny <laughs> so I honestly don't see anything but man Bee in here so yeah well, what are these? Are these Mambi? Yep, those are Mambi. Yeah, everything's Mambi. Hmm. And this was... Oh, what was the name of the shop? I won this in the giveaway from uh, A Loves 22 but the shop is closed now. So I guess it really doesn't matter what the name of the shop is. But it was a two-page kit. Two-page mini, so... Yep. And then this is still, I think my all-time favorite spread in this planner and this is using a deco sheet from watercolor blooms for st patrick's day um there are a couple little green stickers from blank slate i wish i would have had a better weekend banner this one is from it used to be ink and papery it's now like gabriella elena designs but oh this ombre box this ombre glitter box was from Templos crafts freebie and then this to buy was from Watercolor Blooms. This box is Watercolor Blooms. These are A and C. I just, for some reason, I love the way this came out. And I think it might be because I love the clip art so, so much. So, I wish I would have filmed this one for you guys because it's absolutely beautiful. And I can't believe uh, how much I adore it. And then this was my son's birthday week which I used a lot of browns and greens and reds because his my main spread planner spread was a sugary gal shop uh, one that was all dragons and stuff and I didn't want this to get too feminine so I just rolled with lots of leftovers there's leftovers from A and C which is now like luminosity prints there's I see stuff in here from Watercolor Blooms from 2-9 Sticker Co. Um, Brianna Nicole Designs. I just see a bunch of stuff from a bunch of shops. If you see a sticker that you guys absolutely want to know where it comes from, just leave it in the comments below and I will let you know where it came from. This is a leftover spread from Amber's Design Studio. Um, yeah, I just... Yeah, so this is all glossy and I used a Sharpie on it, but I had enough left over to actually do a really nice spread in here, which was fun. <laughs> Again, the weekend banner situation. Um, I need to invest in like some really funky, super awesome colored weekend banners because this is a Christmas banner from Sahili's Designs. <laughs> but the colors worked and I was like, it doesn't stand out that it's Christmas too much unless I tell you it's Christmas, which I just did. <laughs> So, yeah, there's that one. And then we transition into April. And pretty sure you guys got a plan with me on this one. I absolutely love it. Yeah, this was the one with the rub-ons from Target. I just, I love the colors. I love the, the pastel purple, lavender, lilac -y, and then the pinks. And then I used an old Imagine 320 Designs weekend banner. This spread... I'm actually shocked how well it came together. This was literally a peekaboo planning sampler that if you mention one of her PR girls, you get. Um, and I just gotta like get close. Like, look at that. Like that weekend banner is just awesome. So the 
it was literally a sampler sheet. And then these girls here are peekaboo planning, which I hear are going away. This is the week that I fractured my left foot and tore the ligament in that leg. And I'm not going to tell you it's 100% because it's definitely not 100% yet. So, but yeah, if you guys get those sampler sheets from peekaboo planning, um, this was one of the like smaller ones. Now she's doing like full on TN ones. So, I mean, you could definitely get a spread out of those. And I, I really like this one as well. This was a kit from Temp Loves Crafts for Easter. And I bought the date cover separate. This was a kit from Watercolor Blooms, which I'm pretty sure I showed you. This was a mini Happy Planner kit that I used in here. Really liked how that came out. And this was literally a hodgepodge of leftovers. It was my leftovers, leftovers that Miss Beth sent me. Um, so I have no clue where everything is from, but there's some more of that like hummingbird pattern there. Beth had used that same kit, so she had some leftovers that I put in. Um, yeah, I don't even know where all the stickers are from. Definitely don't know where all the stickers are from. And that brings us into May, which you guys did see this plan with me as well. I posted it on a Monday, and here are leftovers from that plan with pizzazz kit. I turned it into like a foodie treat spread, and I used up all the washi because there was I only had one full box left, so I totally used up all the washi to make the rest of this. And um, there's like a whole mix of things. There's Stickerific and uh, what is her new shop name? Samantha Bella Designs and all kinds of stuff on here. And this was the rewind that was just posted on my channel. So you guys saw this one actually being filmed. And then this is for this week. And just as full disclosure, we'll just go ahead and show you here. What I do is I keep, like, this is next week, and then that'll finish out May. So then I'll flip to the next divider, which is here. And I will pull the single-sided Sunday to Sunday. So much crafting insert for June, which I don't have a kit for yet. I need to order that, like, ASAP. This is where I keep the monthlies, and then I have a piece of that black paper dividing it. Then here are my week on two page verticals, and they have the whites in between. So there's the start of June. And then all I have after, sorry, um, the end of the year are the to-do lists that came with the planner and the graph paper and the lined paper. And then I have the Believe in the Very Best back here just kind of propping everything up because I have this like super packed at this point. I mean, you, you definitely can't get another piece of paper in there. And I've tried like working and molding this and it's just made this like ring system really floppy. So that is what is in my personal planner and yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I just feel like I've been doing some really cool spreads in here that I wish I would have filmed, but this is still by far my favorite. So, definitely. Oh, and these stickers here are just the gold recollection stickers. I just keep them in here, and then flags from the Target One Spot. If I ever need just a little something, I have it ready to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to know when I'm uploading videos, definitely turn on the notification bell next to the subscribe button. A subscribe button if I could speak. And that will actually give you a notification when I upload. So I know that sometimes my videos get really sporadic throughout the week. But like I've always told you guys, I try to make sure that the Monday video is there every week. Um, 
I might be shifting my schedule again. It's been about a year since I did. So if that happens, I will definitely give you guys an update. And I will see you guys again for the plan with me on Monday. Much love to all of you and bye for now.